Have you ever felt like you're invisible, unnoticed, insignificant? I, I know we all face this in different times, even me. And you may be sitting there going, Ben, you're, you're like a pastor of a, a big church, right? It's like everybody knows you. But the truth is, we all find ourselves in moments where we're wondering if what we're, we're doing really is making a difference, if it really matters, if, if, if it's really contributing to some greater good. I know I have moments like that. If you're feeling like that, I'm glad you clicked. My name's Ben, and, and if this is helpful for you, hitting that like and subscribing to this channel will just uh, help put in your inbox in front of you little investments that I want to make to help you take one step towards purpose. And today I want to talk about uh, the moments when you feel invisible, insignificant, or disconnected from something that's really making a difference. I want to provide a different way to think about it. If you could think about purpose like a house, sometimes our purpose shows up like a uh, house paint on the outside. Or if you want, consider a room, an interior room, and everybody notices. It's like, wow, that's amazing. Did you just paint your house? You know, love the color, you know. Well, maybe not everybody, but you get the idea. It's noticeable. Everybody's drawn in. It, everybody's talking about it. And sometimes our purpose is like that. It shows up in ways where everybody notices. And it's good. It's it's meaningful. It's, it's It can be impactful. It can inspire other people to paint their house or paint it a different color. But sometimes your purpose and my purpose shows up more like a roof. And some people may notice, a lot of people might not, and it's still essential. Like spending money on a roof for a house isn't real fun. We like it when we get to invest in the things that we notice. But the things that we notice aren't always functionally essential. And so sometimes your purpose is like a roof. Other times, it's completely invisible. It, it plays a role in the foundation. Like when I think about my own life, there are people who played critical roles in my life, getting me to where I'm at today. And I don't even remember their name, but without their investment, it doesn't, they just played a, a small moment in a conversation where I was somewhere else. I can visualize them, but like, I can't even go back and thank them. And I do that as often as I can, right? Sometimes the role that we play is never going to be noticed like exterior paint on a house, but plays a critical role in the foundation of the house. And here's, if you know anything about construction, you know, if you have a damaged or a foundation that's falling apart, it doesn't matter what you paint the house, it's all going to be wasted money anyway. So an important way to think about your purpose is sometimes, yes, it's noticed, but a lot of times it feels invisible, but it's foundational to people's lives which means the journey that you're on to find your purpose. Sometimes sometimes it's like paint. You notice it. You notice a change. Other times it's functional. Sometimes it's invisible. A question to consider is like, what is the internal or invisible work that you need to do? Like, Do you actually know your purpose? Do you have a purpose statement or a calling statement for your life? Do you know what makes you unique? And I'm convinced you're not going to know what you were made to do until you know who made you. Like, I think faith plays an important part in us understanding our purpose. And for those of us who follow Jesus, you understand that God gives his followers unique spiritual gifts, attributes of his character, that when you know that and you begin to lean into that, God's spirit shows up through you in that unique way in your life. And so are you developing that? Are you learning more about it? Are you practicing that? That would be some of the functional work where people may or may not notice, but you're growing in the giftedness that God's given you. And then the third question, and kind of the external and important part, is like, who has God put in your life? Like, what neighborhood has he put you in? Think about your workplace or your school, your family, your friends. What role do you play in helping people know God and helping people have a safe place to talk about whatever it is that they're going through? We say it this way, to find freedom, right? Who are the people in your life that God's put your voice in their world to help them see that they matter, that they have purpose, that they're not an accident, that they have a unique contribution to make? And who has God put in your life to help them see ways to make a difference in their community, in their school, in their neighborhood, like to see themselves used by God to make a difference? That's powerful. Everybody needs life-giving friends. Everybody needs internal personal disciplines, and not all of them are going to be instantly noticeable on the outside. So as it says in Galatians, right? 
Galatians 4, 6. Let's keep doing what is good. And at the right time, we will receive a harvest, a rich harvest of blessing if we don't give up. You see, friends, a way to think about it at Cedar Creek is in, in many ways at our church, I'm like the paint. I'm, I'm the external. People notice and I play a role. I'm not trying to minimize me. But the truth is what makes Cedar Creek really significant are our group leaders and our staff. It's the people, the relationships, and the opportunities outside of that 30-minute talk or so on the weekend <laughs> that really uh, makes Cedar Creek a special movement of people to be a part of. I mean, without that, uh, we wouldn't have much of a foundation. We, we would have people listening, but we wouldn't have a movement of people that are shoulder to shoulder wanting to make our community and make families' lives, individuals' lives better. And I can't do that all by myself. And so when you're a part of something like that, man, that is truly special. When you see all of the roles, invisible and visible, working together to a common end, that's when you go, wow, I'm a part of something really significant. And, uh, and I think if you're looking for something like that, find a life-giving church to lean into, to play visible and invisible roles in making an eternal difference. Hopefully, that framework will help you take one step towards purpose today. And uh, if you want to hear more, Come along for the ride.